Coming up next on Nick at Night, weeknight update with Ellie Mueller. Then, the wee hours with Craig Knightley. Followed by, movie night with Will DeVacus. That's next on Nick at Night. From the YouTube Dog Show, far away from the places that make the, the Halloween movies, it's Week Night Update with Ellie Mueller. And now, a man who warns people about how ridiculous Halloween movies can be, Ellie Kangi Mueller. Ha! Welcome to Week Night Update. I am Ellie Kangi Mueller. What is up, my grand Yes, sir. Yes. All right. Tonight's so Charles Park winners are. Specs Power Cam to Span Edits. Nav 509 is Vigilante videos and gameplay. So it's large with commentary videos. The Rockets with his famous movie night program. You know, Marvin the Maniac, uh, he does uh, random stuff. So does Dr. Blood Studios. Although Dr. Blood Studios is more of a uh, slideshow type of guy. And then Cassie Dragon, who is a dragon who has uh, first aid kits uh, ready to go. Alright? I know. It's crazy, but we're going to uh, do what we can and move on from there. Alright. Tonight we pose the important question. Don't you just love Halloween movies? I know. It's an odd question. But here we go. Hear me out. For one more week, and one more week only, we have to go through some of the most ridiculous movies ever. Let's take a look at a very popular one, Harry Potter. It's not scary, but it has one thing that critics love in a Halloween movie. Magic. I know. Some of you were thinking, wait a minute, that's not uh, even remotely uh, interesting. I know, but what can you do? Meanwhile, Adam, listen to this, Quentin Tarantino, you know, the famous actor slash director, right, has a favorite Halloween movie. It's called Devil Times Five. It also went by People Toys in the 1970s. Really? Do we need that? We must be nuts. Now, regardless of what uh, you think about Halloween movies, there's one thing that we all know, okay? The movies are fake. Alright, so before you uh, start getting all scared and things like that, look, just remember that what happened in those movies will never happen in real life, right? Depends. Depends on what? Which real life are you talking about? Real life, real life! Right here? Yeah. Look, Jason could happen. Now, I'm going to tell you why. Have you ever seen a man with a machete? A man with a machete? Yep. I usually see that when, uh, that's, in the gardening. That's Jason. You just gotta wear a freaking mask and be, and be in the woods. Boom. You're Jason. Weird. Just plain weird. Well, let's do a top eight list. Let's see where we're at. Let's go. Hold What's up. the category? Yo, Gregors, try this fucking this this peanut. <laughs> anyway, here's the top eight things that must be included in a Halloween movie. That Number must not eight, being included. Must not be included in a Halloween movie. Number eight, mud. Yo, finish your food, bro. Number seven, skunks. Number six, sweat. Number five, oyster. Yo, you spit on your damn food. Number four, clams. Number three, armpits. Number two, fish. Yo, let your food spin ass out of here. Number one, of course, some eggs. Oh boy. But what I you? think number one should have been a peanut. You know what I'm talking about? Whatever, we shall return after this. <laughs> this is still week now, and here it is, your father night.
Four eyes. There's laser eye surgery. Later. Hey, dude. Ah! Oh! Oh! Ah! Damn it! So does she. We're both crazy about good TV. We have so much in common. We're crazy about Nick at night. Listen, if you're ready to pick out new carpeting, we'd like to sell you some. Come on, pick a carpet, any carpet. Of course, with Empire, it isn't just any carpet. It's the very best brands and the very best values. Pick a credit plan, too. Bank card, American Express, or Empire's own plan. No installment payment for 60 days. Then pick your free gift, phone or shampoo. Call right now. 588-2300-EMPIRE I really think this has gone on long enough, guys. I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. Here we go, folks. How are we? Hey, I was just about to say that, uh, Ed, Ed, do right? Stay in your lane. Okay, sorry, sorry. Sorry, boss. All right, welcome back to the show. Halloween is just around the corner, and we are dedicating uh, this entire week of shows to Halloween. That's right. That was the Halloween graphic. I know. It's crazy, but it works. And tonight we're dealing with Halloween movies. And before you ask, yes, we know it's a crazy topic. But somebody's got to talk about it, huh? Somebody's got to talk about them, right? Let's, let's have some talking time. Let's go. Let's talk about it. Almost like uh, a long uh, hairdo that the uh, show's been cut uh, two months ago. Talking Time was was formed and created by the Chickens and Lickens at eight of eighteen oh eight uh, BBC before you before your common era. <coughs> and oh, and by now you know the rest, right? Uh, listen up, Jennifer. Three, two. He has like a dog's holes. We are waiting to do what we 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 got to. He has bullshit about uh, some Halloween movies. Now, Halloween, now there's a there's a movie that I have to call Friday the 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 thirteenth. There's about twenty of them motherfuckers. Listen to this, okay? You know, according to uh, the Daily Universe, this is true. There are three movies, three Halloween movies that people should watch this season, according to them. First one, Hocus Pocus. The plot of this movie is, when Teenage Max accidentally frees a trio of witches who wreak havoc on the town of Salem, Massachusetts, it's up to him, his sister, his crush, and a magical cat to prevent the witches from becoming immortal. Taylor Castano says, it has good vibes. It fits the season. It fits like the whole genre. The whole genre? Hey, that's pretty good. Yeah, but keep in mind that Hocus Pocus was a Disney film. And? And everybody knows that Disney films aren't uh, really that scary. The, the only scariest uh, thing that they've ever produced was a graphic game uh, known as Epic Mickey. Disney, stop it! Now, the next one is Harry Potter. You know, the Harry Potter series, right? It, it uh, says here that these movies don't really have anything to do with Halloween, but the element of magic seems to strike a chord with viewers. So, why uh, do they call it the Halloween movie? Oh, yeah! Because Rachel Anderson uh, said it's the whole thing with magic and with witches and wizards, and I feel 
like that's very spooky time. Look, 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 look. If you look at Harry Potter, a goddamn Halloween movie, I will smack the shit out your bitch ass. Because it ain't a Halloween movie. Now, I'm going to tell you why. Harry, you're a wizard. Some spooky stuff happens, but guess what? It's like, yeah, that's just a, mo a mongoloid. And the main point is it to be freaky. That, that's the that thing. This is a spook, spooky movie. But it only includes the rainbows. What? Now, here's uh, the last uh, movie that they include. A Quiet Place. You know, it says here that, uh, that the film features a family that must remain completely silent so as to avoid the attention of alien monsters in a post-apocalyptic world. <coughs> Ted Lee Evans says it's so suspenseful and there's monsters. And I just think that it's so cool how quiet it is because it's a quiet place. But just the, a the aspect of it is really cool. It makes it makes it scarier because you don't know what's going to happen. And I'm like, hold on, wait, wait a minute. You do know that you watched it in uh, a theater or uh, in a place where nobody's interrupting you, right? You might be asking, why am I doing this? Because this one has sound like a goddamn scary ass movie. Where is he? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hulk, hocus pocus, shut the hell up. But this one, a quiet place, it's, 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 it's basically, yo, you got a whisper, or you're finna summon the final boss of Final Fantasy X. You understand me? Yeah, alright? And that's something that we all can relate to, because guess what? We all was that little stupid ass kid up at 5 o'clock in the morning, not trying to be loud, because if because if we were loud, guess what? We about get folded. Is that something that we can all... What's, the, what's, what, what's that word? We can all relate to. This we, yeah. Now... Next topic. Okay, now, you folks might have heard about this. The uh, pop fiction director and, uh, and total uh, creephead Quentin Tarantino gave us uh, his Halloween movie watching recommendation. It's a movie from 1974 entitled Devil Times Five, which also went by People Toys. It's a story of um, murderous youngsters whose cast included child actor and Leo pop star heartthrob. Leif Garrett. Leif Garrett? Yeah, apparently, uh, according to, apparently, uh, Tarantino said, Leif Garrett is the leader of these killer kids. And Leif Who Garrett the gives an amazing, well, well, he's a star of that, uh, movie. Okay. Alright, now, keep in mind, this is from the mid-70s, right? Anyway, he said, Leif Garrett gives an amazing performance in this film. And Leif Garrett uh, gives an amazing performance in this film. It's terrific. And it's really effed up in a big way. But that's what makes it great. It blew me away. It did? Yeah. He said, I was like, wow, this is amazing. I thought about it forever because it played the uh, driving circuit on the lower half of the double beat just for years. Finally, I watched it and I was like, wow, this is terrific. But the only reason why uh, he recommended it was because of Leif Garrett. Not because, uh, you know, it was creepy. Do you think that the Halloween movies are a little loopy? Look, 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 look. Halloween at, at its core is some you don't understand capping off. To, 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 some, that's stupid as fuck. That don't make no, no type of sense. But the most, it's like, hey, that's pretty good. So, depends on the type of person you are. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm just glad that this show is finally over. Woo. Now, tomorrow night on this program, we're going to talk about Halloween candy. 
Then on Wednesday, we're going to talk about the Halloween TV specials, or lack thereof, uh, according to uh, what's been happening lately. Then on Thursday, we're talking about Halloween decorations and why some of them have been a little too creepy this year. And Friday, we're going to talk about Halloween itself, because this ha because Halloween is on Saturday this year. With us will be, of course, Deb509, Devarkus, The Anthony Pente Show, Web Bizarre 18, Let's Books, Emmanuel Gaffey, Michael Zike as the Web Gator Netta, slash Swaggy Vortex 733VA Studios, Emotional Fireflies 97, and Plumber J2! Exclamation mark. I know. Crazy, uh, show. And, uh, we got, uh, some of the craziest uh, cast members out there. But, what can you do? That is the news. Out, please. For all, by for all. I love classics, so does she. We're both crazy about good TV. We have so much in common. We're crazy about Mick at night.